Michael Jenkin here with MMA Interviews TV and a great friend, Jared, the Jackhammer Papazian. Papazian. Papazian, sorry. It's uh, <laughs> it's thrown back and forth. I'm glad he corrects me, but uh, at least I didn't have to get in the ring and fight with you tonight. Uh, you look vengeful and on the attack the whole night. Uh, did he just not have the strength to compete with you, or are you just that big for this division? You know what? Um, I'm coming back. Um, I'm improving. Everybody knows that I'm going to come and bang. And I'm trying to change things up. When I'm banging, I'm going to go for the takedown. So I'm just trying to switch things up, trying to improve my game and have a game plan coming in. Before, I've never had game plans ever in my fights. I would just go and uh, feel for it. But today was really good for game plans. You, you were impressive everywhere. Your striking was fantastic, which is a given. You took him on the ground. Anywhere the fight went, you were just so much bigger and stronger. You just kind of took it where you wanted. Did you feel like you could have finished the fight, or do you feel like he was just good enough to survive the rounds? I feel like I could have finished him, but, you know, it's, I'm all new to the ground conditioning. It's a little different. Wrestling, and uh, it's, a, it's a lot harder than I thought, and um, I need to work on that a little bit. Um, on his feet, I could have finished him more. It was very hard to get motivated for this fight because I got cut for the UFC, and uh, it was just very, very um, hard for me. I blew up all the way to 165, and you know the weight cut wasn't that good and whatnot. Um, you know now I'm, I'm back. I'm ready to get back to serious business, and uh, it's got the limits from here. And I just want to thank everybody, uh, all my training partners and coaches, uh, Professional Juan Pablo, Alberto Crane, uh, Rick O'Kane, Chad George. Um, my whole family, everybody that came out and uh, support me and that's behind me. And, um, you know, I'm ready to go. Obviously, we know where you want to get back to. What do you got to do now in the gym? What are you working on to get back to that place? Um, I got to start finishing fights. That's my goal. Um, as you can see, I, I've been trying to do that, but my, uh, my win wasn't that, that, that there. But um, next time. Well, obviously, we know you're coming back. What would you like to fight in this venue again, or what do you want to do next? Are you going to take some time to think about things, or you want to get back in and fight again soon? Uh, my initial goal was to fight again next month. I'm going to see. I, I, I want to improve more before I hop back in there. Um, so we'll see. I'll be back soon, though. That's for sure. Well, obviously, a great contender, 135 pounds, one of the best fighters in the world at that weight. He'll be back, and hopefully he'll be back in the UFC soon. I know Spencer's going to be excited to hear that you won. Spencer, where you at, man? Yeah, I know. give him a shout-out. Hey, Spencer, you're my man. I hope you're uh, living it up in uh, Vegas. Can't wait to get uh, back so we can uh, go to Boston Home and get some food, buddy. <laughs> well, the Jackhammer prevails at Bad Beat 8. For MMA Injuries.tv, I'm Michael Jenkins, and this is the Jackhammer. Thank you.